Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to make the most clickbaiting video. Of the whole YouTube, not just this channel. We are going to throw Mentos into super critical carbonated Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's what you asked. <laughs> That's what you all asked on the last video. And I, I also, I remember, mm. I don't remember the exact moment. But when playing around with the first video, it hit me like, holy shit, we are, we are really close to perfect video here. Yeah. It's going to happen and the day is today. Yeah. And we have been here now like three hours when we arrive. We filled three containers full of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Just to be clickbait as hell. We didn't use Pepsi that's much better as all we, mm -hmm. as we all know. We used Coca-Cola for maximum clickbait. Yeah. And we have these, like, what they are, pots or co boxes, boxes. Boxes, yeah. Plastic boxes, mm -hmm. three of those, because as you see, it doesn't fit there. And also we wanted to maximize the surface area that's going to absorb the carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. Then I threw in three kilos yeah. of carbon dioxide just to have more than we need. And it was actually super nice. We got the triple point filmed much better than previously. Mm -hmm. And it was super weird. Uh, the carbon dioxide just goes into the Pepsi and it didn't boil or anything mm -hmm. as a liquid. Really weird. And there is a lot of shit going on inside of the chamber. And we crush shit on YouTube for living. Mm. We are not chemists or science people. Nope. I just know <laughs> that mechanically this doesn't explode and kill us. Yeah, yeah. That's about all that I know about the stuff that we are doing. So if there is some interesting stuff happen there, and I have no idea what it is, ask on the comments. People will know yeah, there. <laughs> somebody would know better than we. <laughs> the, you seem to be much more knowledgeable <laughs> about this than we are. And uh, then we heated it up again gently with the gas torch. <laughs> And this time we went way over supercritical point, up to 80 bars, and then back down, how much we have now, 66 bars. So it's been super critical, it's been over, and now it's again under. Mm. And uh, seems that the Coca-Cola containers are completely submerged, submerged mm. into the liquid carbon dioxide at the moment. Yeah. So it should be pretty spicy, or mm -hmm. Leon Hapokast, as we say in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was thinking about, we, we want to do control test with regular Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how much we are going to leak cola from those when we put them into the bottle. Because I think it's right to test it into bottle. Because nobody pours Coca-Cola in a plastic box and then throws the Mentos no. in. It's always inside of the bottle. So we need a bottle. So that's what we are going to do. And, yeah. We are going to know now, go in the future, or should we show first? Uh, yeah, we are going to know, go now into the future and show with the same amount of regular Coca-Cola that we are going to able capture from mm -hmm. there into here, yep. control test. And after that, we are going to open the chamber and do the most carbonated Coca-Cola vs Mentos ever. Yeah. This might like this might be the experiment that creates the black hole. Yeah, the, and this might broke the internet. Yeah, some of some of those two, two things is going to happen. Mm. So control test. And we are back. I think we should put one camera there mm -hmm. to have a look what happens when we open yeah. the thing, and then we need the empty Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah. This is so exciting. It's also a bit nerve-cracking because we have only one try. There is only 1.5 liters of cola here. Okay, so let's pour it in there. Yeah. On the <coughs> table. So, <coughs> and it's, it's going to be much, much spicier than on the first time. Uh, should I have like plastic gloves? Maybe. Do we have them? Mm. Mm. No. I don't need to have No, you, no you don't. Yeah, I poured it on my hand and we even tasted it the first time. Yeah, it didn't die. didn't die, so it's, it's, it's going to be fine. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, I put this camera there. Okay, this is officially the loudest thing ever when you open this. We don't have, holy shit, it's snowing in here. Hey, let's put that on so we can observe the situation. I do this quite quickly now. I got like static electric shock ah. from the car when I opened it. That's interesting. Okay, it's zero. I want to be as fast as humanly possible. This is like pit stop for the carbonation. Holy shit! Okay, not much has... It looks really spicy. I try to be as smooth as possible, not to lose carbonation. It doesn't bubble much at this point. I think we are not losing much. Good. That's good. I'm pretty pleased on how this is going. Okay, we are like uh, one inch on from top of the etiquette. Yeah. How many should <coughs> I put? Let's put like four. Yeah. Okay. Whoopsie! Uh, <laughs> I think it's not any different. Okay, and here it's side by side. And sorry for the focus problem. Uh, it was quite hectic and we didn't plan this perfectly. But as you can see, there is a clear difference. I would say like double. I think it would be much more spectacular if the bottle would be completely full. I didn't realize that the, uh, like, uh, the air on the bottle makes it so much weaker. It's like complicated fluid dynamics, the soda mentos thing. Hard to say. It was somehow completely different than the water. Yeah. Because... When I, fi when I looked in, mm? everything was boiling. Yeah. When the pressure went to zero, that didn't happen with the water. Mm -hmm. It might be that there is some shit on Coca-Cola mm? that lets out the carbonation faster. I'm not sure. I have to say that I'm quite disappointed. I, I was like fearing for my life. Yeah, because uh, I wanted to get everything done quite fast, so I removed the camera 
when I had like maybe five bars of pressure left or something. And then when I looked in, everything was boiling or like, like boiling. And I'm not sure is it the Coca-Cola or did the plastic containers have worse surface quality than the glass that we used on the last video, but something ain't right. The water holds so much better the carbonation because I, I'm not even sure actually, did I watch in, did it also boil when the pressure went to zero? Yeah, but there is something to be optimized here probably. Yeah, but we tried to do YouTube video here today. Mm. Do you know what we made? Mm -hmm. We made a Facebook video. Ah, true. <laughs> this is one of those when somebody is doing like five minutes like complicated shit, you try to figure out what the hell he is building and on the end nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we made here. But we made science while doing that. Mm. So it was all not for the loss. Yeah. And if you have ideas what we should do with the chamber, please let us know because it's clearly working. Mm. And what happened to this this, this time? It's hey, no, it's, it's great. Because we did a like long term study mm. with green balls yeah. and honey and uh, Nutella. And this O-ring didn't like it. Mm. It was like all crumpy when we opened it, yeah. it up. And because of that, it was it, it had like minor leak. I was hoping to keep it under the pressure for like one or two weeks. And we le lost about two kilos of carbon dioxide on like 24 hours. So to do like Long-term studies, I have to upgrade my O-ring material. If you have any ideas of O-ring material that doesn't get angry about supercritical carbon dioxide, please let, this me, please let me know. Yeah, I think this is like all the science for today. Do you have, Hanna, any words of science? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think that's all for today. Yeah, but it, it was all... It was a lot of fun to do this video and we have had a lot of fun in general with this channel lately and we have managed to free up some space from the press sheet to do this more. So we are going to continue at the science and then we have some explosions coming also really soon. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. <laughs>